And we have breaking news tonight from Prince William County, where a shooting suspect was just caught within the hour after an all-day manhunt. Late this afternoon, Dwayne Williams was spotted in a Montclair after allegedly shooting a man outside of McDonald's last night in Woodbridge and then carjacking another person. Minutes ago, police confirmed to us they have Williams in custody. Jennifer Donnellan is live from the scene in Montclair with the breaking details. Jen, what do you know? What a flurry of activity. This place was covered by police officers. Let's get to a live picture of 28 year old Dwayne Williams. He's been on the run for hours now. We've just learned that in the last few moments, police found him in a neighborhood where they believed he was. They really had a tight knit circle around him. They're thinking that once the helicopter went away that had been flying above the neighborhood all afternoon, when that flew off, they think that that's when he decided to pop up. There was an officer right there. He saw him. There was a brief chase. Other officers were nearby and they were able to make that capture. Today, police said Williams was spotted in the Montclair neighborhood by a local worker with whom we spoke by phone. He came up to the truck and said, somebody's chasing me. The people are chasing me. And I said, well, uh, you want me to call the police? And he said, uh, no, he said, I already called them. That encounter set off a whirlwind of activity. Police on seemingly every block, even on the water. He said, could you give me a ride up to uh, the Burger King? I'll be all right. I said, this is a company truck. I can't, I can't take in a company truck. He said Williams decided to bail. He left uh, the truck and went between two houses and headed toward the woods. That was your town street where neighbors were suddenly met by officers with guns out. They suggested that we stay inside until the place was kind of clear. Do you feel safe? I do. I really do. Police tell us the officer saw Williams and chased him before he disappeared into the woods. Maureen McCormick's two children were home. Three and seven year old. Ooh. And, uh, you know, our neighbors are helping, checking on each other. Bob Malk had his shotgun out. I said, well, what the heck, I'll, I'll just extra precaution. I'll put something right here and just in case. While police combed through the area, this worker said he was just glad. He said no. I said I could have been killed. <laughs> I said, I said, this guy, if he had gotten in my truck, he, 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 he could have pulled a gun on me and, and the commandeer my truck or had me driving someplace. So I said, all right, God, I'm glad. I'm glad that everything turned out okay. Now back here live, you can see SWAT team officers, uh, you know, they were here on standby, but they never had to be activated because there was never a barricade situation. So everyone standing down at this hour, you know, many people asking about children. We saw a lot of children out and about in the neighborhoods as this was all playing out. School is still out here in Prince William County. I stopped a couple of kids and they said, yeah, we know that there's a dangerous man out here and we're being careful. Fortunately, the danger for now is over. Reporting live from Montclair, I'm Jennifer Donnell and ABC 7 News. It's good news, Jen. Thank you. And Dwayne Williams, as you know, wasn't the only person wanted in connection with last night's shooting. Police are still looking now for Jamie Bowyer, Williams' alleged accomplice. She and Williams are both accused of aggravated malicious wounding and use of a firearm in commission of a felony. Back